Hey guys, today we are making our sorrel drink. Christmas is a few days away from today, guys. So, yeah, let's go make some sorrel drink. This is a must in most Caribbean households at Christmas time. And these are the ingredients that we are going to be using to make our sorrel drink. Here is our dried sorrel. And you can get this from your supermarket. It's called hibiscus flour. And what I'm going to be using is two cups of dried sorrel leaves. Some cinnamon sticks. You can also use spice, cloves, bay leaf. And of course, my sorrel drink must have some ginger. So with two cups of sorrels, I put four cups of water. I'm going to add just like a teaspoonful of cloves, a few pieces of cinnamon sticks. Again, you can use the spice, some bay leaf. Here I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of grated ginger. I did grate it with the skin. That's okay. Make sure you wash it, of course. And two cups of dried sorrel leaves. I'm going to add them up into here and bring them to a boil. Why I'm just putting four cups of water and two cups of sorrel leaves is because I want my concentrate to be thick. All right. At this time, you can add your sugar. I did not. I just make sure that I boil it with all the sugar. And when I'm done, then I will sweeten mine. We all have our own preferences. Once it's done boiling, I cover it and leave it overnight. And now is the next day. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and strain the sorrel. And you're going to see the rich, vibrant color that it has along with the body, the thickness of the juice. Mind you, when you're going to be serving your sorrel drink, you can mix it with a little more water because at this time it is very acidy. Now, if you like a nice, strong, acidy drink, that's all right. So I'm going to show you how you can use it as I go ahead. Strain it and look at this, guys. Has no sugar and yet the liquid is thick, a rich, vibrant red color. And this is how I like to see my sorrel. All right. Strain it out. Now you want to sweeten this sorrel juice. All right. Or the concentrate as you would call it. And what I did is add two and a half cups of white sugar into this. And stir it in until the sugar grains have been dissolved. Why I add two and a half cups of sugar is because, like I said earlier, it becomes a concentrate at this time where we can add a little more water or some orange juice, if you want, into yours to dilute it to get the right taste of it. Or you can also use it just as it is. Now I'm going to pour it into my storage container. And I pour it into this container because I'm going to store it into the refrigerator to keep it until I'm ready to use it in the heart of the Christmas. All right. So once I'm done, I'm going to just place a cover over this container. And as of now, guys, I want every last drop of my sorrel concentrate into this bottle because I love sorrel and sorrel with ginger you cannot go wrong this is not gonna last long I don't know even know if it's gonna last until Christmas Day trust me because sorrel is one of my favorite things place that cup and pop it into the refrigerator or you can serve it as it is as you can see I have some fresh oranges that I'm going to squeeze. I prefer the freshly squeezed oranges instead of the store-bought orange juice. 
I'm going to add some ice into my glass. And at this time, like I said earlier, you can use it as it is with a lot of ice and let it melt down like what I'm going to be doing here. This has no orange juice, no water. If you prefer this way, then go this way, use a lot of ice. Stir it in so that it can be diluted. Or you can use some freshly squeezed orange juice like I'm doing. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want into yours. Then pour that goodness over there. Trust me, this sorrel drink is the bomb, guys. It's everything for me. So go give it a try. I garnish with rosemary and a slice of orange. And that's my sorrel drink for the holiday. So thank you for coming in the kitchen and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy!